Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. Friends, in the last class we have learned so many file handling functions and today's class we are going to learn fgets and fputs functions. fgets function normally reads a string, an entire string from a file, from the specified file and fputs function writes a, a string, entire string into the specified file, right? And before doing any of these functions, we are going to declare the file pointer. Yes, once we have done this, we are going to open the file using fopen. So it takes two parameters, one is the file name and the other one is the file opening mode. So first I'll write the text into the file. So I'll use the W mode. And remember one thing, F open will return a null pointer if it unable uh, to open this file, right? So it is better to check whether FP has got null or not. If FP is equal to null, then I should say can't open this file. Because of some reasons, if F open unable to open this file, it will return the null pointer. Let's say suppose angpro.txt file, if it has got deleted by some users, then fopen is unable to open that file, then it will return the null pointer. If fp got null pointer, then it is unable to open that file. If that doesn't happen, I'll go and do my normal file operations. So to write the string into the file, first I'll ask the user to enter the input enter the string to write into the file, right? So using normal gets function, I'll accept the string. So before doing that, I should have an array here of say 20 length, 20 bytes. Okay, so now I'm using f puts function I'm going to write into the file. So f gets, uh, sorry, f puts function takes two parameters. One is the string and another one is the file pointer, right? So if it writes successfully, I'll tell the user writing into the file succeeded. And after doing everything, all the functions, I must close the file. I didn't do this anywhere in my last programs. I should do this. F close of FP. This will uh, delete the pointer which is pointing to the file and return the file back to the hard disk. So it is very important to close the file after doing all the operations. Control F9. So enter the string to write into the file. Okay. Hi, this is Yuvaraj from Angpro. Writing into the file succeeded. Yes, we have successfully returned the string into the file. Let's go and check that. So this is our file which have returned the string. Right? I hope you understood how uh, put as function, f put as function works. Now I'll use the f get as function to read the string out of the file. For that, I'll change the mode to R and I'll comment this everything. I don't need this, so I'll just comment this. I'm going to use this in the future. Okay, right, so this is no longer be executed from the compiler. 
so now i'm going to read the text right read the string out of that file so i'll use yaf get yes so it takes three parameters normally one of course the file pointer and in the middle a second pointer is the number of characters that it has to read from the file the maximum that i can give is the character total number of characters is 19 because i'm going to store that into the string called name so name is a string here which can hold up to 19 characters so i i must give 19 characters to read out of that file so f gets will read maximum of 19 characters because we have specified 19 here from the file which is pointing to angpro.txt right so fp is the pointer which will point to the angpro.txt and f gets will read maximum of 19 characters and I'm going to print that out. Percent yes, comma name. Let's run this program. Control F9. Oops, we are getting uh, the old output also. So let me add the clear screen here. Control F9. Hi, this is Yuvraj. So So it has read the maximum of 19 characters. So to increase, to have to read all the characters, I'll increase this. And it will return the null character whenever it reaches the last. So I'll put it inside the loop. So until when it is not equal to null, it will go and reads all the characters, right? Control F9. Hi, this is Raj from Angpro. So that is what we have read from the file using f gets function. So using this function, we can read. So we have learned that using f get function, we can read. And if I want to write something to that function without erasing the old data i must use r plus which stands for both reading and writing so for doing that i'll uncomment all this so after reading the data here i'll be asked to enter a string to write into the file enter the extra string to write into the file and that will be stored in the name then it is going to be written using the put as function in this file so remember don't forget to add this f close function at the end control f9 hi this is Uraj from ng pro enter the extra string to write into the file so this is my new text writing into file is succeeded let's go and check that so we have got this hi this is from Angpro. so this is my new text so remember using r plus you can read as well as write the new data into the file which acts as reading the file and appending the new text into the file right so i hope you understood this program i try this program with the new files well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.